What is a uh, hmm, What kind of conversation are you having? But I said, well, well, have you not heard about Jesus? The one who we believe come to redeem Israel out of all the trouble. What thing? Well, well, we're talking about the Messiah. And you know what they did? They killed him, they crucified him. And today is the third day since these things have happened. He loved that conversation. Got a right to court division. He said, every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. Listen, anytime we come together as a people of God, let it be the theme of our heart to talk about Jesus. Because the devil's like idle conversations. He like foolish talking. He like gesturing. But when you begin to talk about Jesus, Elder, he backs off. Because you're not calling him his name. Hello. So, they invited Jesus to eat. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm thanking God that he didn't turn down the invitation, sir. Because don't care how vile you are. Don't care how sinful you are. Once you invited him in your life, he's ready to step in. When he steps in, he makes a difference. He, listen, Paul Robert said, Jesus come to take out what the devil put in and put in what the devil take out. <laughs> Could you praise the Lord? <laughs> Wonderful change in my life I've been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. Well, he broke the bread and one commentary says they saw the nail prints. You see the right they said, when we get to heaven, somebody gonna ask him, how are you gonna know him? The right they said, well, I shall know him. I shall know him. By the prince of the nail in his hand. I shall know Jesus. I should know him by the prince of the nails in his hand. Oh, yes. Right then and there, sir, they recognize it was him. And he said, well, I'm going to tell you the gospel now. That Christ should suffer, should die, should rose again. And that repentance and remission of sin must be preached in my name beginning at Jerusalem unto Judea, unto Samaria. Unto the uttermost part of the herd. But, but, go into Jerusalem until you are endued with power, harmony, benefits. 
benefit. Because all I knew and all some of us knew is in English language. And some of us don't know the English language good. <laughs> wow! Wow! When I'm talking about benefits. <laughs> For the <love> of God. <laughs> For when you go to Jerusalem. You will receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is spreading you benefits. Said, well, what you say, Brother Mark? Well, Brother Mark, step it up. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be then. But, but, these signs shall follow them that believe. <laughs> these signs shall follow. <laughs> they shall speak. With new tongue. Let us move Bahasa. Let us those who experience the heavenly language. <laughs> when you got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's benefit. Yes. And that tongue, bishops, that tongue, pastor, that was a curse. At the tongue of Babel become a blessing. Because the apostle said that the people said we heard them speak yes. in our own language. Wherein we mourn. That's benefit. Hey, you shall lay hands on anything that is deadly. And it shall not harm you. 